me. I'm going to have some counseling implications that I think are really important about this. It's just one sign to look for to detect potential dark triad traits in somebody. And then what do we do with that, particularly if we're working with a client? And that trait is being embarrassed or called out for whatever causes rage. Now, nobody likes to be embarrassed or called out for their stuff, but typically um, we will, you know, get over it. And this is not easily let go by folks with more dark triad traits. The revenge can be immediate or it can be calculated in long term. It appears that intelligence level seems to play a role in that. Folks with lower intelligence levels tend to act out immediately and higher, it can be more calculated. There's some really cool research I've been reading by uh, Lillian Feld and Watts on uh, dark triad traits and particularly uh, narcissism uh, among the uh, U.S. presidents. So I recommend that. I listed LBJ here for in terms of grandiose narcissism, he ranked highest. It's really fascinating how they went about this. But here's what I want to talk about from a clinical perspective. First of all, I do think, I agree with experts that, that we have an underestimation of folks with dark triad and even psychopathy, because psychopathy is a part of dark triad traits, because most of our research has focused on prisoners. And it's very difficult to get people in the general population who haven't commit, committed crimes to come in for research related to dark triad traits. So that's one of the reasons. So we need to be really careful and cautious about folks we've been around. I do think I've had acquaintances that have had this and even demonstrated what I just talked about. Um, you would never have known or detected if you didn't know anything about these traits. But when called out, there was actually a um, almost violent or verbally abusive situations. So I've seen that just with folks that are functioning pretty well in society. Let me talk to you very briefly about a clinical uh, experience I had. Now, I was not trained in dark triad traits or psychopathy in my master's program. It was years ago. Um, but I was working with a client. I thought we had a really good rapport. Um, and he mentioned something that, was, uh, that I knew and had to set a boundary about. Okay, so this is somebody I knew about a year and I did. I don't remember doing it in a punitive way, but I did say something. And I'm not going to certainly go into detail about that. It was funny because immediately after that happened, I got a phone call from the, uh, the front desk and I uh, took the phone call. And when I finished the phone call, this person was standing up right next to me. And I was like, oh, what's up? And this person said, uh, I was getting ready to hit you. And I remember sitting there thinking, oh, now here's what I said. And then I'm going to tell you what I wish I said. What I said is, oh, and thank goodness he didn't. And we did sit down and we talked and nothing happened. But I was like, oh, what, what did I say? You know, and I definitely backpedaled. I, um, I didn't do any intense eye contact. I kind of had this natural understanding of, oh, move away from being confronted, kind of acquiesce and find out to process. He essentially was kind of ticked off is what he told me about when I kind of held a boundary about something. And if I'd shared with you the uh, what he said, everybody would say you need, he needed a boundary set with this. Here's what I wish I said. So when he's standing next to me, I hang up the phone and he says, I was just getting ready to hit you. I wish I had said, I'm so grateful that you didn't. Let's talk about what you did to manage your behavior. What did you do to manage? Because you obviously did that successfully. I'm proud of you for that. That's growth mindset strategy. So we want to get him processing. Okay, so he may not recognize it emotionally, but we want him to cognitively process, oh, this person's proud of me for managing my anger, for not lashing out. That's a reward. And we do know from folks, particularly high in psychopathy, that they respond much better to rewards than punishment. In fact, they don't respond very well to punishment. All right, so for all the counselors and frankly, all the, the parents and the, the people out there with partners, because again, I believe these dark triad traits are far more common than we know just because we've been studying populations uh, where it's more severe. But I think there's a lot of folks out there functioning. Definitely look into Lillian Feld and Watts research because they are looking more at what they consider functional psychopathy and where we see this. And their presidential research is an example of that. All right. I hope this is helpful. We will talk to you soon on the next video. Take good care.